The year is 2025, China is establishing a remarkable scientific outpost, a permanently manned underwater station at 6,500 feet. Located in the South China Sea, it's a game-changer for deep-sea exploration. Scientists will live and work in one of the most extreme environments on Earth. The region is teeming with diverse marine life and complex geological formations. The station will grant unprecedented access to this underwater world. It will serve as a critical base for studying the unexplored depths. Constructing an underwater station at such depths is fraught with challenges. Engineers are tackling these obstacles head-on, employing cutting-edge technologies to ensure the station's structural integrity and the safety of its inhabitants. One of the primary concerns is the immense pressure at 6,500 feet. To withstand this crushing force, the station is being constructed using incredibly strong materials, such as titanium alloys. These alloys are not only robust but also resistant to corrosion. This is crucial in the harsh, saltwater environment of the deep sea. The station's design is another engineering marvel. It features a modular structure that allows for future expansion. Individual modules, each with a specific function, are built on land and then transported to the site. Once submerged, they are carefully assembled and connected underwater. Powering a deep-sea station is no simple feat. The station will rely on a combination of renewable energy sources and underwater power transmission cables. Solar panels on the surface will generate electricity. This will be supplemented by tidal power generators that harness the energy of the ocean's currents. To ensure a constant flow of fresh air and to manage the internal environment, sophisticated life support systems are being developed. These systems will regulate air pressure, temperature, and humidity, creating a habitable and comfortable environment for the crew. The underwater station will serve as a unique platform for a wide range of scientific research, from marine biology to geology and oceanography. Its depth and location offer an unparalleled opportunity to study the deep sea in unprecedented detail. Marine biologists are eager to study the unique organisms that inhabit the depths. The station will facilitate the observation of deep sea creatures in their natural habitat. It will also enable the collection of samples for genetic analysis. This research could lead to the discovery of new species and a better understanding of the adaptations required to survive in such extreme environments. Geologists will have the opportunity to study underwater geological formations and processes firsthand. The station's location in the South China Sea, an area known for its tectonic activity, is particularly interesting. Researchers will be able to monitor seismic activity, study hydrothermal vents, and learn more about the Earth's crustal dynamics. Oceanographers will use the station to conduct long-term monitoring of ocean currents, water chemistry, and the impacts of climate change on the deep sea. This data will be crucial for predicting future changes in our oceans. It will also inform strategies for mitigating the effects of climate change on marine ecosystems. Building and operating an underwater station at such depths presents a unique set of challenges. These range from the logistical complexities of underwater construction to the psychological effects of prolonged isolation on the crew. One of the biggest challenges is the transportation of materials and personnel to and from the station. Specialized submersibles and remotely operated vehicles are required for these operations. The harsh underwater environment can also make communication and navigation difficult. Maintaining a constant supply of essential resources such as food, water, and oxygen is crucial for the survival of the crew. Regular resupply missions will be necessary, and emergency protocols must be in place to deal with unforeseen events. The psychological impact of living and working in a confined, high-pressure environment for extended periods cannot be overlooked. Careful crew selection, psychological support, and measures to prevent isolation and boredom will be essential to ensure the well-being of the station's inhabitants. Despite these challenges, the potential rewards of deep-sea research are immense. The station promises to advance our understanding of the ocean depths and their importance to the health of our planet. Section 5. A Legacy of Underwater Exploration The dream of exploring the ocean depths is not new. From early diving bells to modern submersibles, humanity has long been fascinated by the mysteries of the underwater world. China's underwater station is the latest chapter in this ongoing quest for knowledge. One of the earliest underwater habitats was Sea Lab, a project initiated by the United States Navy in the 1960s. 
Sea Labe involved a series of experimental underwater habitats that allowed aquanauts to live and work on the seafloor for extended periods. These pioneering missions provided valuable insights into the challenges of underwater living and the potential for deep sea research. Another notable underwater habitat was Conshelf, a series of underwater stations built by Jacques Cousteau and his team in the 1960s. These stations, located in the Red Sea, focused on studying the feasibility of underwater living and conducting marine research. Conshelf II, in particular, was a significant achievement with aquanauts spending a month living and working at a depth of over 100 feet. These early underwater habitats paved the way for more advanced underwater research facilities such as Aquarius. Located off the coast of Florida, Aquarius is the world's only currently operational saturation diving facility. It allows scientists to live and work underwater for days or even weeks at a time. Aquarius has been instrumental in advancing our understanding of coral reefs, marine life, and the impacts of pollution on the ocean. Section 6. Illumination in the Abyss, Expanding Our Knowledge. China's underwater station represents a significant leap forward in underwater research capabilities. Its depth, size, and advanced technologies will enable scientists to conduct research that was previously unimaginable. One area where the station is expected to make significant contributions is in our understanding of deep-sea ecosystems. These ecosystems are home to a vast array of unique and often bizarre creatures that have adapted to survive in the darkness, extreme pressure and limited food availability of the deep ocean. By studying these creatures in their natural habitat, scientists can gain insights into the limits of life on Earth and the remarkable adaptations that organisms have evolved to thrive in such extreme environments. The station's laboratories will allow researchers to conduct experiments and analyze samples on site, providing real-time data and reducing the risk of contamination or degradation of delicate specimens. Furthermore, the station's location in the South China Sea will provide opportunities to study the impacts of human activities on the deep sea. This region is facing increasing pressures from pollution, overfishing and climate change, and the station's long-term monitoring capabilities will be crucial for understanding how these stressors are affecting deep sea ecosystems. Section 7. Life in the Extreme – Studying Deep Sea Ecosystems the deep sea once thought barren is teeming with life. These creatures are often strange and poorly understood. China's underwater station offers an unprecedented opportunity to study these deep sea denizens. Bioluminescence is one of the most intriguing aspects of deep sea life. Many creatures produce their own light for various purposes. The station's imaging equipment will allow scientists to study bioluminescence in its natural setting. Extremophiles thrive in lethal environments. Studying extremophiles may reveal the limits of life on Earth and other planets. Deep-sea food webs are often based on chemosynthesis. The station's proximity to hydrothermal vents will allow scientists to study these unique ecosystems. Section 8. China's Deep-Sea Ambition – Global Implications China's investment in deep-sea exploration exemplified by its underwater station has significant implications for the global scientific community. The station is envisioned as an international hub for collaboration, with researchers from around the world invited to participate in research projects. This collaborative approach is essential for advancing our understanding of the deep sea, which remains one of the least explored frontiers on Earth. By sharing resources, expertise, and data, scientists from different countries can work together to address common challenges and make groundbreaking discoveries. The station's findings are also expected to have practical applications in various fields, including medicine, biotechnology, and environmental conservation. For instance, the study of deep-sea organisms could lead to the development of new drugs and biomaterials, while research on deep-sea ecosystems could inform strategies for protecting these fragile environments from human impacts. Moreover, China's deep-sea ambition is likely to spur further investment in ocean exploration and research from other countries. As competition in this field intensifies, we can expect to see an acceleration of technological advancements and a deeper understanding of our planet's final frontier. Section 9. A Beacon in the Blue – The Future of Deep Sea Research As China's underwater station prepares to welcome its first crew, it marks a pivotal moment in the history of deep sea exploration. This ambitious project has the potential to revolutionize our understanding of the ocean depths, 
and their importance to the health of our planet. The discoveries made at this station will not only advance scientific knowledge, but also inspire future generations of explorers and researchers. The station's legacy will be one of innovation, collaboration, and a deep respect for the wonders of the natural world. As we delve deeper into the abyss, we can be sure that the ocean still holds many secrets waiting to be unlocked. The station's enduring impact will be felt for decades to come, shaping our understanding of the planet we call home and inspiring us to continue pushing the boundaries of human exploration. The deep sea, once a realm of mystery and speculation, is now within our reach, and the possibilities for discovery are limitless.